We're off to Saltville, Virginia. Yes. I don't know why it's so dramatic. <laughs> that was not dramatic. That was just entertaining. Loud. She's in a good mood today, guys. I am in a good mood. <laughs> Ignore my lips, they're chapped. <laughs> they're embarrassing. <laughs> yep, we're going to go to what museum? The Museum of the Middle Appalachia. That's right. Right? That's right. Okay. And it's close to Marion, Virginia. So we might grab some dinner and lunch up there too. Remember that wooden pickle or something? Yeah. Might try that out. Okay. Something a little different. I like pickles. But it's a wooden pickle. I don't know if I like wooden pickles, but I like pickles. <laughs> Yep, so we're gonna go up to Saltville, Virginia. We're about to leave the house now and mm -hmm. it's cold. It's very cold. What is it outside? 34 degrees outside. Yes. So Yeah. Time to hit the road. Go hit the museum, but we gotta get a drink first. Of course. As always. <laughs> Alrighty guys. So we made it here to Saltville and they've got this woolly mammoth outside. Probably because they have a skeleton inside, but pretty cool. You can see the little town here. Real cute little town. Jody's getting something out of the car. And we're about to go in the Museum of the Middle Appalachia. So we have made it here to the museum. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's bigger than I thought it was, yeah, actually. It's, it's what, two buildings? She said it was two buildings, and um, it doesn't look, um, we know because we've watched YouTube videos on it before we came, it doesn't look as big on to you all <laughs> out there watching. But it's actually pretty big. And it they've got a lot of cool stuff. Actually. A lot of cool stuff. Check out this mastodon. And I think this skull gets missed by a lot of people up top. Yeah. But there's a really cool mastodon skull up there. I'll show off in a minute. Yeah. But you kind of work your way through Ice Age to Space Age is what she said. Yes. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, it's really cool. We got this one exhibit here that you push a button that lights up on... I don't know where that one's at either, but it lights up <laughs> down here somewhere. Oh, way down there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, see? It correlates where everything's at onto the map. Stuff like this fascinates me. I know. I, love. I don't know why I love it so much. I had a friend that used to build models like that for museums, but... Calvin had been doing it for a long time and he passed away a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool. So you follow this core sample around the whole museum and it takes you through time from Ice Age to Space Age. So you basically just do one big whole circle through one building and another. And she said that all of the artifacts were found on this one main street yeah. up through here. So a three and a half mile stretch is where all these artifacts came from. Yeah. We got some geode samples here. Yeah, they have a lot of geodes. Tons of geodes, tons of minerals. Really, really cool. We have to live in like one of the most diverse typographies. 
Yeah. I mean, it's so amazing here. I love photographing the Appalachians. I love topographical maps. Maps. I want one at the house. <laughs> so bad. Those are so cool. I don't know where I would put it either. But I want one. So cool. The sheer size of the skeleton is absolutely ridiculous. So crazy we had these here. Check those teeth out. That's so cool. And then up top here, we have another skull looking down on us. That one's actually kind of eerie to a pair by itself. But. That's so cool. Check this saber tooth cat's skull out. Look at those front teeth. Oh my lord. This is the first time I've actually ever seen a saber tooth cat skull. That is crazy. They got a dire wolf too. I'd be a little more afraid of this one. Good lord. Even the giant beaver is absolutely scary looking. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at those teeth. That is nuts. This exhibit is so cool. And they found all this stuff right here. So neat. This one back room has aerial overviews with labels from the area. That's pretty much what's back in this one little room here. That's pretty neat. So 75,000 years ago is what the time period is here. Check out that musk ox skull. That's pretty neat. What do you think? I'm pretty impressed actually. This is a really cool museum, isn't it? Yes, if you were into anything like anthropology, archaeology, history, geology, like, just come here. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's really cool. So this exhibit talks about the early people who settled here, the Native Americans, and we'll work our way through time that way. So they've got all kinds of arrowheads. throughout the centuries. Different styles, how they developed over time. That's pretty cool. I love stuff like that. So we're now heading into the second building. Continuing the Native American history. Some really cool exhibits here. Oh, and the beadwork. That is so neat. That is cool. I wonder how much time went into making this stuff. It's amazing it's preserved. So if you think about it, they did not have access to a drill or anything like we do, the drill holes in the beads. They would have to sit there with like a sharp stick and rub it back and forth until they got a hole through each shell or bead that they're making to be able to string it. And this is like 1,119 shells on this necklace. Like, I don't have the patience for that. Lord, no, I don't either. I would never. I could not do it. <laughs> but it's cool. 
McLean's River in our area, it's actually one of the prettiest rivers around. Check out this beadwork again. That is so cool. Early industry now. <laughs> so now on the timeline we're up to 1808 1858 the salt works so in this section they do have a theater that plays four videos they're about five minutes apiece talking about uh, the civil war and the industrial salt. Let's see if we can go in here. And... So it talks about the salt works, the Confederate fortifications, the battle at Cedar Branch, Saltville Massacre, and General Stoneman's raid at Saltville. So you just push one of the buttons and here it comes. So that video is really cool. If you get a chance to stop and watch that, it is well worth watching. It explains everything around Saltville and the area into the Civil War. I think Jody's back here looking at some coins now. <laughs> but yeah, this museum is amazing. If you get a chance to come out here, definitely, definitely do it. My camera battery just went from halfway to dead. <laughs> Boop, there it goes. But the rest of this will have to be done on the phone until I get to change my battery back out. Well, I mean, we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. It's okay. But yeah, check this out. Such a cool museum. The steam whistle here is cool. A lot larger than I thought they would be. Oh, yeah. This stuff really fascinates me. I love Civil War history. I yeah, found some cool stuff, too. Check out these belt buckles and rifles and sabers. Pretty cool. I also like how... The core sample changes to minor buckets for the dates. That's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. And then right as we leave, there is the wild and wet section talking about the animals in the region and a lot of the foliage and flowers and the environment. Oh, Jesus. And then Jody just got scared by a frog. <laughs> Did it, did it get you? Yes. Did the little frog get you? Yeah. Yeah. Stupid thing. <laughs> that was perfect timing. There he is. He got her. I love red cords like this. Really cool. Lamps are really cool. Pretty decent price too. You need a salt lamp. Some cool little Marvel Mountain creations. Well, I got another fresh battery in the camera now. <laughs> what did you think of the museum? I really like it. It's worth more than what we paid. Oh yeah, this museum is really good. Yeah, so it's five dollars each mm -hmm. for adults. I can't remember. They're open Monday through Thursday and Saturday. Yes. Eight to five. Eight to four. Eight to four. I Eight think. to four. 
Yeah, I see it on Let the door. Let me look at it. It's right there on the door. Well, I can't see it on the door, so. Take the four, it's on the door. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you. I will tell you right. This means I want to look it up. Speed about the third video in the row. I will have been right. <laughs> Well, I'm the one that said four first. <laughs> I did. They know it. Anyways, great museum. I loved everything they had in there. The video was really good. Um, the gift shop is cool. It's good. It's got good prices. It's um, mostly geodes. Mostly geodes, yeah. And just a few t-shirts, which the t-shirts I wouldn't mind having, but... Mm -hmm. Trying to stop buying t-shirts. Let me tell you, this she has probably 200 t-shirts, and I'm not kidding. I'm addicted. They're ridiculous. I mean, I she couldn't wear them all. Why she keeps buying them? Oh, I didn't buy one. I really want one, but I didn't buy it. Uh, I'm mm. trying to buy like real, like grown-up clothes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this museum was really good. Um, I'm glad we came out here. We had seen it passing. On the interstate for years, like yeah. the, the sign for it. And we were always like, oh, we need to go, we need to go. And today we finally went, and it was well worth it. Yes. I can't tell you how many museums. I've only been to maybe two other me. I've been in a lot of museums, and only two other. Like the National History Museum had a full skeleton like that. Yeah. That's cool. Like, you don't see that in little town museums like this. Yeah. Like, for, you know, the Mastodon skeleton was just so impressive. Yes. So it's five for adults, mm -hmm. three dollars for seniors sixty plus, and children six to twelve, and then it's free for children under six. Yeah. And then they can also do group rates, and apparently you can become a member um, somehow. I don't know how, but members are free also. Um, hours Monday through Saturday, ten a.m. to four p.m. and Sunday one p.m. to 4 p.m. Closed your regular hol holidays, New Year's mm -hmm. Day, Easter, Thanksgiving, and Christmas Day. So, Did you tell them it was free for kids six and under? Yes, I did. Okay, I did not listen. As usual. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're near this area or passing through, you're on... passing through and you need a place to just stop and rest and stretch and all that good stuff come here this museum is a good one to two hour yeah. activity depending on how much you want to read yeah if you're just a looker and you walk through it and just look at things you'll be in and out really quick about an hour if you're a reader and you read all of it it's going to take you some time mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, but it's worth it. Completely worth it. I would pay probably $15 myself. Yeah, the, yeah, the $5 here. price fee was really cheap. Yeah, it's really cheap. So Take advantage of that. Come see it. It's a great, great museum. Yeah, and it's supporting the community. So, yeah. it's history. Well, now I think we're going to ride around and see what else we can get into. Okay. Maybe work our way to Marion. Did you show them Wooly? I did, in the beginning of the video. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she also didn't pay attention. Well, I was cold and I wanted to like, yeah. get inside. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Let's ride around and see what we can get into. So, we just left the museum down here. And we've come up here. Check out these, these trains. So neat. Check that out. Matheson Chemical Company or Corporation is what it says. This is the engine 11. White walled the tracks. Rails. That's neat. And we have engine number five parked up here. That is so cool. With the caboose. Yeah, check out that caboose. Norfolk and Western. Really neat. That is neat, neat, neat. The little side street. You can pull right up on it and 
come up here and check out these trains. And it's also a gorgeous little church back there. You can't see it, but there we go. Real nice church over there. Going into the Saltville Emporium antique store. That's what it looks like. Those little guys look so cool. We found the toy area here, so we're kind of looking around here. See if we see anything for Ollie, maybe. But a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be. Got a bunch of cards. This is pretty cool here where it's got all the blocks. That's neat. Tons and tons of stuff. So part two of that antique store is up the road in a separate building. And he said it's nothing but furniture, which is what we're seeing in some photos. Tons of furniture. And that flag's interesting, but there's no way to get to it to see what it is. Little riding horse. Those little paintings up top there are pretty cool. Well, there's not much open in Saltville other than this one antique store. And Jody's here trying to course a cat to come see her. But I think we're going to head on up toward Marion. <laughs> so Jody and I, as we were heading toward Joe Howie, we came across the historic Saltville Overlook. Really pretty here. Let me turn this around and show you. Check out that view. What a view. Really nice. We were just down in here. Pretty cool. Alright, so we made it to the wooden pickle. Lobster biz, buffalo chicken sandwich, and whatever Jody got. I got chicken salad sandwich. Chicken salad sandwich. Mm -mm -mm. Jody got a to-go box for hers. I finished my sandwich. That's about all I can get. <laughs> well, we just left the wooden pickle. Yes, it was good. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, that buffalo sandwich was really good. It's super hot. <laughs> she said my face was turning purple. <laughs> it was. But he's a big weenie whenever it gets Oh, to whatever, whatever. You it are. was really spicy, though. You are. My nose was running. It's like, what's Chipotle? I love the like, Chipotle was so hot. I said it. it's not that hot. My butt, it wasn't that hot. <laughs> it was hot stuff. It was good, though. It was really good, and the service was really good. Too. Service, I would come back here easily. The, I mean, four out of five. Yeah. Great. They had lobster bis soup, which was my favorite soup of all time. It's so good. Yeah. So I think that's going to do it for us today. If you haven't liked, shared, or subscribed, please do so. Especially subscribe. Yes. Because it's free, and it's easy to do. And it helps us. Yep. Help us get to five hundred. Yeah. We're like almost at 350. So you guys need to like keep 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 going. Keep going. Well, that was a good day out. You ready to head home? Yes. Alrighty. I'm ready for a bath. Later guys. <laughs>